Hooray! I got the box. It's it's uh they're finally here. And actually I got this yesterday, but I just didn't open it till today because I was lazy. Um but what is up ladies and gentlemen? It is time to be unboxing the Usos Ultimate Edition. And uh obviously if you guys seen on YouTube, everybody's been getting these now, so I pre-ordered mine in July, so uh I don't know uh why it ranks. I pushed the order back uh till September for those who haven't got it yet, but jokes on you, I got my stuff. Um also, uh look, perfect shirt for the unboxing video, right? Yeah, I got me some merch from the WWE shop. Awesome, right? Um I got more shirts, so I'm gonna go ahead and show those. Well not the, it's not all just shirts, but you know. I got myself a uh, Undertaker hoodie. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. For those who've been watching me for a long time, you know that Undertaker's my favorite WWE superstar of all time. Who else? Oh, yes, yes, yes. We got our man uh, Drew McIntyre. You know what I'm saying? You you can never go wrong with a Drew McIntyre shirt. You know what I'm saying? So we got a Drew McIntyre. Uh, let's see what else we got. We actually... Got ourselves a another Usos shirt. You know, I'm really I'm really good with the Usos, you know what I'm saying? But it's crazy how WWE gives me all the stuff as soon as the Usos break up. So. And this is my Bianca Belair shirt. You can never go wrong with the EST of W W E, you know. Um, but at this point I'm beating around the bush. Let's go ahead and get into this. Uh First, before, uh, let's take a look at the box because it's rare that we get boxes like these. And as you can see, this box is pretty big because it got two big Ultimate Editions in there. As you can see, this is the Bloodline, which is obviously no more. You know, the Bloodline is finished. Oh, no! oh my God! And I'm out too. They, we got the uh, Usos uh, Ultimate Edition thing right here, so it's all good. That's also up here. But uh, yeah, let's let's get into this now that we've checked out the box. Um, I'm actually gonna be keeping this box because this box looks way too clean to get rid of. And look at that, look at that. I'm already excited for it. So it, it depends on who I pull out the box first. Any, mini, money, mo, catch a tiger by still. If I let it go, any, mini, money, mo. Who is this that I'm grabbing? out of the box and it is jimmy uso um now my, my least favorite uso now thanks to what he did at uh summer slam but uh you know here is jimmy uso and one thing that everybody has been complaining about about this jimmy uso action figure is the head scan because i don't know what they were thinking with this this is basically another jay uso but i don't care because I am excited to have the Usos um, here in Ultimate Edition form. Um, I, I wanted to get um, Jimmy Uso uh, in this form that I got this J. I don't know if y'all saw that unboxing video that I did um, where I unboxed uh, um, Edge, Undertaker, that Undertaker, trip, that Ultimate Edition Triple H, and uh, this J. But that's where I got this from. I said I was going to try to pre-order Jimmy. So, I mean, I, I, now that I got the Ultimate Edition, I don't know if there's a purpose for it. If I do buy it, it just will be to have Jay a partner. I mean, I guess. Well, this particular Jay. Um, actually, I'm going to keep this right here because, like, I don't know if y'all seen my video from, a, like, uh, three, two years ago. But I got these Usos from like a Target or Walmart or something somewhere. And it was a Usos 2 pack. So, you know, yeah, I'm going to be comparing these. Then I'm be comparing these to the Ultimate Edition forms in a minute. Um, So, I don't even know why I have you over here, but there's Roman. 
Um, all right, let's get into this box. Um, you know, I do actually have another figure to cover right after this, after these Ultimate Editions, which I probably should cover that first, but it's an Undertaker action figure, and y'all already know how I feel about Undertaker, so, uh, let's just get into, um, the main event first, however. So, there goes the packaging. Uh, oh yeah, you guys can read the back if you want. Um, you could pause it, but I'm not reading it anymore, because I used to, but I'm not anymore. Uh, so first, let's get the hat out. We actually got ourselves a Bloodline hat that Jimmy used to wear before he, uh, um, what you call it, before he left the Bloodline. We got uh, one of these, I don't even know what these this thing is called, but we got one of these flower things that uh, the Samoans wear when they come out for the entrances. Um, I don't know how often Jimmy wore them. But I know Jay wore them a lot, so Jay would be more often to wear it. As you can see, I finally got myself. Um, if I can get get. Um, oh my god. Um. Um. Let me let me try to get these out. All right. Um. I finally got them out. Um. I finally got myself a Raw Tag Team Championship, so that's good because I already have SmackDown Tag Team Championships, but. To add on to that, we got the Undisputed Tag Team Championships, which are currently being held by Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, which I kind of feel like their reign is going to come to an end because both of them are injured. Either they're going to lose to some, either they might lose to the Judgment Day or another team on Raw, or they might have to relinquish the tag team titles. But moving on for the accessories, we got the We The Ones shirt. And y'all do not know how excited I am for this shirt. You know, when I got this action figure, this didn't come with a shirt. So, like, I always wanted to give this action figure something, and it never had a shirt. So, you know, I gave him the Bloodline shirt that came with the Roman Reigns Ultimate Edition. But um, now that we got these, I can put this on anyone, but this belongs to Jimmy, so... You know, we don't want nothing to do with Jimmy as of right now because of what he's done. Let's go ahead and get both of our head scans out. And as you can see, this is what they got for Jimmy, uh, which is clearly the wrong hairstyle. I might, like, do, like, a swap or something because it looks the hair looks like it could come off. So since it might be able to come off, then I'll be taking that off and I'll be replacing it with some new hair if I can. Um, because th this clearly isn't right, but the head scans are perfect. Like, I mean, it, it still kind of looks like Jay, but at the same time, it's, I mean, the Usos are twins and they look the same a little bit. So I'm not really going to be like too uptight about that. But yeah, these are his hairstyles. I mean, his head scans, this is his, uh, I guess this is his hype head scan. This is his, uh, hype head scan? Is, uh, uh, Head scans. I'm not about to get into that. By the way, I don't know if it's like my mood or anything for right now, but I'm currently recording this at like 9, 10 o'clock at night because uh, I didn't do this yesterday and I just got back home. So if the energy is down for this video, then you know why. But just for y'all, I'm going to pick it up a notch by picking this thing out of the packaging. break the figure now do we all right and we have ourselves an ultimate edition jimmy which this thing is stuck to his chain if i could just get it why is this thing attached to to my boy jimmy scrap all right now here's jimmy jimmy uso but like just because it got this thing right here it, it literally looks like jay but clearly it's it's Jimmy. Um we're not we we not even gonna get into an argument with that one. Um one thing I did for why? One thing I did forget to show you guys is um the hands. Now I'm not gonna show you the balled up fist because those are like so generic to like so many action figures at this point. 
and now that I think about it, I am kind of missing a, a head scan here. Um, I mean, a, a hand here, but this is the, you know, the, uh, the, you know what it's called, uh, the acknowledgement finger, I guess that's what you want to call it. Um, now let's put the chain on. I, I, I really do wish I had another head scan for Jimmy, but it's all good. Um, actually, let's put the shirt on because Jimmy, like, if you guys realize, Jimmy doesn't really wrestle with his shirt on. So, we're going to go ahead and um make that reality real quick. There goes the chain and the head scan. And now, we got Jimmy. Ooh, so... I'm not gonna hold you. This action figure looks clean, you know. Oh, jeez, they they knee joints are kind of hard to bend, though. But uh, you just gotta, uh, you know, get them loosened and stuff. Um, these nice Air Forces, these red Air Forces, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, then they got that little thing on um, one of the pans back here. Um, that's also cool because you know. I just realized how much attention to detail that uh, Mattel pays with uh, these action figures. Because if I had to do that, it wouldn't have been here. It would have been, it looked like uh, one of those action figures from 2003 that they used to give out. Nah. So, yeah, there's uh, Jimmy. Um, Let's put his hat on. I don't want to put everything. I like, I like getting with everything on, like, at the end of the video. And then I might, I, I'm going to give you guys an update, like, whenever I, like, fix his hair and everything. But here's real boy, Jimmy. Ooh. Quick break. Before we get into the next one, I want to showcase the action figure that I also got um, from Ringside. Uh, another figure that I bought along with these folks is one of my, no, not even one of my, my favorite WWE, trying to be Michael Cole here. My favorite WWE superstar of all time, The Undertaker, but the Ministry of Darkness. And this Undertaker action figure is is so clean. It comes with the um the belt. And then if we look at his head scan, man, this head scan looks so clean. Like, what how could you go wrong with this head scan? Like, when when was the last time we had a good Ministry of Darkness Undertaker head scan that looked like this? Not with the ponytail, just just this with his hair down like this. Amazing, amazing. And then they had uh, this, which actually I could like use to um. No, wait, no, I can't. I was gonna say I could make like a, a WrestleMania um thirty Undertaker when he faced Brock Lesnar and lost a uh, streak. But I don't think these are the same tights, are they? No, they don't look like it. But yeah, that's the Undertaker. I'm gonna sit you right over here next to Jimmy. Now. We can get into the right hand man, everybody's favorite Uso, Jay. Um, first you can look at the back of the box, obviously. Um, and just fun fact, just in case you didn't know this, Jay is actually the youngest Uso. So, um, not not include Solo. Just between the two of them, Jimmy's older than Jay. So, um, that's cool. Uh, that's one thing I I barely even realized throughout my time of watching W. W W E. There we go. Good morning, Jay. Now let's get into you. The only reason why I didn't unbox um, the Undertaker is because when I got it from uh, FedEx, like um, when I got it from FedEx, the box was damaged, and I don't like showcasing off damaged boxes. So I just, I just got right into it. Another box. Now we got our boy Jay. Um, so let's let's get everything out. This uh, this pretty much basically the same. These things um are the same. They also go with Jimmy and Jay Uso. Which another thing that I realized that they have chains. So I guess you can like swap out like whether you want them to wear this or the chain. Um, I'm probably just gonna stick with the chain and like save this for like Roman. Or whenever I decide to actually get a Paul Heyman action figure, then, yeah. Um, two new head scans. Um, 
these are like kind of like the the same head scans i mean the same head scan that i got with that one i think uh let's see this uh this one and this one are the same head scan so you know that's this isn't new so this is the this is the elite one this is the ultimate edition one basically the same head scan so that's cool and this one is just uh this one just has like a little smile on his face so good gonna sit you right over there next to your trailer for brother another shirt that we got for jay and his shirt looks a little bit more bigger than jimmy's uh yeah his shirt is a little bit more bigger than jimmy's i think um because jay usually wears like uh the the like the little crop top shirts so i think this might be jimmy's and i might have to switch these two out but i'll do that later um all right let's get into the tag belts uh which i don't really need to do much of a review on those because i just i mean the belts right here are literally just the same thing so and there goes our second raw tag team championship but here are the smackdown tag team championships and now for clearly our main event of this video, Jay Uso, which they put a lot of, of, of this rubber stuff on on these action figures. So let's go ahead and get Jay up out of here real quick. There we go. That was easy. Um, let's get this thing off of him. We don't, we don't, we don't need you around here. I look like Paul Heyman right now. Main event, Jay. There we go. I mean, it's basically the same thing as Jimmy, except he has uh, an armband or uh, 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 whatever this is called. Um, same thing with this J. Yeah, it's the same thing with this one. So he also has an armband. His his uh, ties are pretty much the same thing as Jimmy's. It's just on the opposite pants leg. Um, they both got those clean Air Force Ones, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's pretty cool. We both got the chain. And Jay actually has um, tattoos on both sides of his chest. So, that's cool. Um, on his, what is it, biceps? But yeah, this is, I mean, this is Jay. So, let's go ahead and get some of his, uh, his stuff on. And there he is. Jay Uso. Now I don't now Jay didn't come with a hat either because Jay doesn't really wear like his shirt or his hats sometimes. But J Jimmy, you know, Jimmy got everything, you know. He got uh the shirt. They could just stand up. You know, Jimmy Jimmy got the shirt, the hat, the chain, although J Jay has literally the same thing, just no hat. Um, you know, they they gonna face over each other because you know they be They can't stand, they can't stand now. We're going to go ahead and compare these Usos. I just want to get you guys to stand. Is that hard to ask for? All right. So please don't fall. Okay. So now we're going to be comparing you guys to, to this Jimmy, right? Stand, thank you. And this J, right? All right. So clearly, we have differences here. Um, one thing I did realize, and I know this is completely off the topic of the Ultimate Editions, but if we look at their pants here, this J Uso literally has the exact same as these. That you know, they just redid it a little bit, and. I'm pretty sure the version of Jimmy like this too also does as well. But, you know, I just don't have it yet. So, jokes on me. Their heads are, I don't know. I don't know. These are just simply better. They're ultimate editions, you know. I mean, they're just better in every single way, shape, and form. Um, but, yeah, guys, I guess that's the video. Um, we got ourselves two ultimate edition action figures of jimmy and jay uso um 
as you can see, I got me uh, the Jimmy and Jey Uso shirt too. And once again, ironically, they give me this shirt and action figures as soon as the Usos disband. So that's also great. Um, thank you. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, if you like WWE action figures, clearly this is the place to be because I do like a whole bunch of those on the channel. Um, I do games, unboxing, mostly unboxing. Um, but yeah, I mean, Usos, the Usos are my favorite tag team of all time. Um, so obviously I had to get my hands on these. Um, I couldn't let them slip away. Just like the Seth Rollins Ultimate Edition couldn't let that slip away either. Um, but yeah, um, I guess that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, and uh, I'm going to pull a Santi again. Get out of here. Don't, don't copyright me, please. I'm just... All right, I'll, I'm I'm getting out of here. It's it's ten o'clock. Super kick! And a fall by Lester. Rollins with a stop to Lester. Rollins is ready. 